I'm the Hooded Lid and welcome to my channel. Today I've used this palette to get this look. Spring is here. Let's have some fun with pastels. So I got my very first Dior. This is what it looks like. This is new for spring. They came out with two colorways. One was purple, violet, yellow. Totally my jam. So I decided, why would I want to do that? <laughs> I already have the colors. So let's do some blues because those are so difficult for me. This is going to require primer because the colors are so pale and I really don't know what to expect from it. Well, I do now because I tried this last night, but I didn't yesterday and I put some of this on. I was slightly inspired because two people that I follow, Mariah Leonard and Andrea Ali, both did pastel eyes in the past couple of days. Andrea has brown eyes and she did a lavender. It was one shadow and then she put a gloss over it to give it the final look. And Mariah did the ColourPop uh, blue palette. And she managed to make that look modern. I don't know how she did it because that blue with blonde hair and a nude lip can really go 60s pretty fast. But she did a great job. But pastels are a little tricky depending on your skin tone, your eye color. A lot of people think Certain colors are just pastel just because they are a certain color, like a robin's egg blue, for instance. Well, you could do an electric robin's egg blue, and it's no longer pastel. So pastels, by definition, are not only these certain colors, but they have a lot of white in them. They have a chalky look. And the more light your skin tone, the more whiteness, the more chalkiness you can pull off. But if you are in the medium range, you've got to go a little bit deeper. And if you have African American skin, you can go almost to that electric area, but not electric. So you'll go for a deeply saturated yellow, deeply saturated robin's egg blue, but it's still robin's egg blue. It just has more depth to it, less white to it, but it's not quite electric. I actually think pastels can look so beautiful on very dark skin very light skin and in the middle I think it can be tough. I consider myself kind of in the middle so um, and my skin tone actually might be similar to Mariah's but she has the most transparent beautiful blue eyes my eyes have more depth to them and she has very blonde hair and my hair is more blonde when it's down because of the highlights uh, so I, I'm kind of like I feel like a medium all over however I'm here to play in conjunction with the Dior palette, I'm going to use this by Makeup Forever. I initially thought instead of spending $65 on a five pan that I'm probably not going to use very often, maybe I could get some singles. You'd be shocked at how hard it is to find singles in these colors. I did go on to ColourPop and put a bunch of things in my basket. Before I knew it, I had $60 worth of ColourPop in my basket because you can't see the colors, you know? and. What you see online, it's hard, it's hard. So I'm gonna start with this color, which I consider an aqua, but it will soon turn green when I put a blue next to it. And this is just patting it and pulling it on, so you can really get some payoff. You know what, I'm gonna pull you in. Hi. All right. So I'm kind of basing how I'm going to lay everything down on one of Lisa Eldridge's old videos. She has three, at least, that I've seen videos on pastel eyes, and two of them employed purple, and one of them employed um, lavender, an egg, robin egg blue, and a pink, and it looks so beautiful. Going in for this one, and same thing. Just rubbing it. I might have done too much of that green. And it might be hard to tell right here, but these are two different colors. This one is more blue, and I'm just feeling where my orbital bone is. Wiping that brush off. This is just a good brush, I think, for this application, so I'm just going to go right back into it and I'm picking up this color. And this is the color I'm just going to wing out because that's what works for my shape.
But if you've never been here before, I'm hooded. And I don't bring things out here, like boop and boop. I bring it out more here. Now I'm going to take another Smith. This is slightly larger. And I'm going to bring this color into the match. This is a really pretty champagne color. And these shadows are a little shimmery. Not hugely shimmery. I thought that this is something I needed to do with a matte. And I'm just going to blend the colors together so that they have a nice fade. Back with the original brush into this pink. And that is going on top. Hmm. It's looking a little too white for me right in here. I'm going to go back in with this color and see if I can deepen that up. There you go. I'm not a fan with all this reflection right here. I think that's very old-fashioned, so I just want to tone it down a little bit. I'm taking a clean brush, I'm just blending. So I'll get some of that pink still, but not so much reflection. Lower lash line with a darker blue. The center color, that green color, I'm going center underneath. This color in the center, it looks like it's a baby blue, but when you swatch it, it's really more of a silvery color. So I do this with a really light, light hand. And maybe pull it up a little bit, but I don't want to pull it down. It just it's just not a great look for me. So I feel like my overall shape starts here and goes up here, so I kind of have this stretched out shape, which is fun. Lifts everything up. I feel like it's really a look. This is not for work, but, but it is fun, right? I'm going to take a bigger fluff brush and just go over. I have a feeling I went in too hard with this green, the first color. I've had that for a few days and I've been playing with it and my application today was the deepest I got that color so it kind of surprised me. I also got this new pencil from Makeup Forever and I'm going to do very thin, thin, thin line to about the center of my lid. All right, the camera stopped and I was just going to say I'm gonna do the other eye anyway. So I did a little bit of lining just from the center over here and did this eye and I wanted to stop here because I feel like I like the look of this one better and I kind of adjusted this one to go with it. And it's really, really all about the fade from the darker blue to the Robin's egg blue. So these two blues right here where here I ended up putting this champagne -y color and then the pink. It's just two 80s. Blah. I am going to go back with the Q-tip and just try to tone that shine down. I do not like it. Another safe thing to do is hit it with some translucent. It's still there, but it's not egregiously there. And rather than going in with that champagne, I'm going to do a little bit of this pink and I hope it'll work out. I'm just barely picking up any on the brush. Again, bring this blue and this blue under the eye and then going in with the center color again, just a little bit for the inner corner, not going nuts with it, not bringing it down. But I bring it up a little bit. But for me, I feel like that's the only way I can do these lighter colors, like this color and this color and this color, for me, have to be grounded with something like this. If you are very, very fair, you probably won't need to do that grounding. So let's just haze that out for shits and gigs. But let's take a real blending brush, nice fluffy. 
So I did a look last night just to see what I could do, but I do like to kind of experiment in front of the camera, you know, to show how I think makeup should be playful and fun and we can experiment with it. Well, I've managed to really be able to blow this one out, but this one I worked, I think, a little harder on the edges, so the edges are pretty much there. Oh, I'm kind of liking this. Just keep on working on it until it's smoked out and no hard edges. This side already feels like it's kind of there. Now I have, if you haven't been here before, I have a fat pad right here. It's very hard to get things to adhere to it. It just makes this eye more difficult. This is an old color called lilac. It's an iridescent color. I just want to play. Well, let's just see. Just the eyebrows. Oh my gosh. So pretty. You know, a great thing about a quad is they kind of lay it out for you. This is what you can do, which is great, but it doesn't mean you have to be limited to that. So, okay. I'm out of Christ over to Crazy Town. This is obviously not a look for every day, but it is a fun look. Great for spring, great for summer, maybe going out for brunch, just being playful. And the powders work really, really well. It's my first experience with the Dior powders, and I have to say, I'm very impressed, and I might be getting myself another one. I'll just have to find the right colorway, because these are expensive. These are $63 for five, and we're used to paying, you know, $65 for this. It's going to give us a lot of different looks, but if these powders are any indication of the rest of their powders, thumbs up. They are very, very nice. And I think I need to change the lips and do the cheeks and powder my face, and I will be right back. I just wanted to come back and show you the look. I added a little incandescent light bulb over here to bring some warmth into it because this time of year the light is quite cool and I totally forgot. I want to use this yellow light a lot to make everything look warm so it looks like what I'm looking like in my mirror here. So this is the look. I think it's fresh and I think it's fun. And thanks so much for coming. And you know what? I like the nude lip. Nude lip is okay when the hair is up. Bye.